me. Can we talk? It's important. Is everything okay? Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Canella from Zoe the Movies and Kids First. Today I'm so excited to be talking to Charlie Clark, actor, writer, and producer of the film Green Ghost and the Masters of the Stone. How are you? Good, thank you for having me. Of course, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I love Green Ghost because he's not afraid to make fun of himself and is very open to being true to him. So where did you get this idea and how, did you want to make him um, approachable and likable for the audience? Absolutely. Um, you know, when I started in business back in, I, I, I'm an entrepreneur, so I walked away from a family business and I started my own business. Um, thank God for a, a banker that lent me the money for that. But being that I started uh, with nothing, um, I had to borrow my working capital and everything. So I um, needed to Back then, I was trying to, you know, I didn't want to do typical advertising, and I do, I live on the border. All my businesses are literally on the border from the Rio Grande Valley up to El Paso. So I'm, um, and I speak fluent Spanish because the movie's dedicated to my Mexican nana, uh, and she's from Montemorelos, uh, Nuevo León, Mexico. And so, and, and also to my Mexican family. So I wanted to, it's a it was a shocker for people because we were the I was the first one to do Spanish marketing for for new cars, and so when I spoke Spanish and they could tell that I knew how to speak Spanish and and it was part of who I am. It's not and it's not just speaking Spanish. It's like understanding the culture, and so this in essence was my my mask. Like I'm dis disfrazado like a gringo but I have this Mexican side to me, you know? So I wanted to create a character because I grew up watching Chapo in Colorado, in Colorado and Chavo del Ocho and El Santo, El Santo the Luchador. So um, since I grew up watching those particular shows, uh, I thought to myself, how cool would it be to create a, a character in which I speak Spanish throughout the whole show? Now in this movie, that's not the case. It's bilingual, but... Um, the show I created was all on, on Spanish TV, on Mexican television. So I wanted to shock people not only with my Spanish and hopefully show an appreciation that, that, that I'm part of their family and their culture. Um, but, you know, on top of that, in green tights, making fun of myself can't hurt and also got the whole family to laugh. And, you know, I wanted to get that kind of reaction that I get, you know, that I, the way I laughed at those shows growing up. That's exactly what I want to do. That's why I was Green Ghost and Mexican. And a huge congratulations on the film. I Thank loved you. it. I think you Thank did a fantastic job. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I love how different and how um, represented Latinos are in your film as a Latina myself. Um, and not only that, but also the messages. You have a great cast here, but I love how you can make your own family or every family is different. There's no perfect family is very also well represented. So how do you think we can all be a better family? Do you think having quality time with each other or what do you think makes a good family? Well, what I think makes a good family is when you have people and especially adults that care for the children that they're, um, that they're taking care of, guiding them, giving them the best advice, also making sure that they, they have a, a, a healthy and happy household to live in, um, whether they're blood relatives or not, you're, you're responsible for giving them the tools to make it in life and uh, to, to, so that they can, they, they will succeed in life and uh, not, uh, not, not uh, fall to the, the, you know, crater in out there, getting out into the world. Uh, so to me, it's like my Nana taking care of me. Maybe she wasn't my, my blood Nana, but she was just so much of a mother for me that uh, I wouldn't be who I am today if she hadn't loved on me like that and taken close care of me. So my advice is, you know, if you have to make your own family, you find people that are gonna take care of you, push you to do the right things, push you to, for, to, toward a healthy lifestyle and, and a loving household. Um, and, 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 and push you towards success in whatever you do, excelling, you know, so you need good mentors in life. You need good people that are gonna push you and, and push you to the next level so that you, you get out there and you make the most of your life, not just sit back and, and you know, deteriorate. 
couldn't agree more. You know, I love the quote, not every family is perfect. Sometimes we have to make our own family. That was the movie. Yeah, I think it, it's so true. Um, I also want to point out the cast. You worked with so many talented actors. I actually interviewed Gunal Beck a while back, who was in this film. And you have Denny um, Tereshow. So how was it to get all these talented um, actors and this great crew together? And how challenging was that for you? It was a real challenge, I got to tell you. And what was really interesting was the night that I decided to do this movie, I was thinking about it, thinking about it. It's like I'd done 30 shows, you know, back in the day, all in Spanish. And, you know, my actual Nana, my Mexican Nana came out in those shows. She played the the sort of the Mexican Mary Poppins of the movie, of the show. And it, I, we had a lot of fun doing that. And when it came to the point like, well, are you ever going to make a movie? I was like, hmm. I don't know. And I was going through tough times in business. I had all, in, like in the movie, I had almost lost my business several times. I didn't think I could afford to try to do a movie, you know? So it was like, this is the most interesting part. I went through several different production companies till I landed on working with Rob, Robert Rodriguez's brother, uh, David Rodriguez, right? So you know who Robert is, he did Desperado and Machete and Alita Battle Angel, I mean, he's huge. So to be attached to him, and I went to his, his premiere of Machete and, uh, back in the day, and I was like, wow, I'm, I'm, I've now got Robert uh, on board with this thing. So, uh, well, his brother anyway, and the family and the roots, and then he got in touch with Edward James, almost his son to be the director. And it started growing like uh, legs, right? So I was like, this is great, gaining momentum. We're getting now, they got Danny, Fe they said, let's call Danny Fecker. Well, obviously they have access right to him. So they called Danny Fecker. <laughs> and once we got Danny, he's like, well, who is this gringo and why would I work with him? I was like, well, okay, look, I'm, I do local acting here. I haven't been in feature films. I've been on television, but I'm bringing Will Smith's acting coach and J-Lo's acting coach, who's worked with J-Lo, worked with Will Smith, worked with uh, Gerard Butler, with Virginia Madsen. I'm taking this seriously. I'm not messing around. And I'm also gonna go train my martial arts overseas for a month and, so that I can do my fight scenes, as many of them as I can. Because I'm still making fun of myself even when I do my own fight scenes. So it's not me trying to be all cool, it's super cool. Until I got the right cast and then we got the right editing done finally, then we got the right special effects, and then the songs we pushed for, my gosh, they were so hard to get approved. But, you know, we got Gasolina from Daddy Yankee, and we got 6 a.m. from Fits and Tantrums. We got Eye of the Tiger, of all things, from Rocky. But the cool part was, if you all want to know a fun fact, I had Robert Rodriguez's band, he produced that song in Spanish for this movie. And there's no other place you're going to be able to hear it. It's not going to be played on the radio, but you're going to hear Ojo del Tigre en Español en esta película. So it's really cool for the training montage. That's incredible. Again, huge kudos to you for putting together this great cast. Thank I can you. definitely tell it was a challenge, but I think all your hard work 100% paid off in the end and you created something that the audience will fall in love with. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate that green. Very nice. Yes, staying in theme <laughs> with the, the movie. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Charlie. Pleasure talking to you. And I, I haven't talking. seen the film on the big screen, but I definitely look forward to it. I've oh, seen it already, though, and I loved it. Do you please watch. I wanna, I'd want to. i love to hear your opinion. The movie is now open today. It's opening right now. And um, so it's in theaters. Um, if you want more information, you can go to Green Ghost, not Green Go, GreenGhostMovie.com. GreenGhostMovie.com. And you can still register to win right now three Nissan Versus throughout the state of Texas. I'm sorry, not Versus. Three Nissan Leafs, all 100% electric. So go green, Green Go, I mean Green Ghost. And <laughs> you can win three Nissan Leafs. Three. Nice. Go green. <laughs> yeah, go green. Go green. Dame chance. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love talking to you. It's going to be a little bit difficult to take you seriously in that get up. Does that help?